All right. Hello, everyone. This is Miss Angelina from Lavi School of English Language. I am an IELTS coach and a language trainer. Today, in this video, I will be letting you guys know that what are the common mistakes that people normally make when they are writing an IELTS essay. Doctors, teachers, engineers, or even professors who come for um, an IELTS assessment, writing assessment, they are not bad at English at all. The only problem that they face is probably not knowing what to write. Because I feel that in this country in particular, since your school, college or your university, everyone is into writing descriptive essays. You kind of write essays, those are very descriptive in a sense, for example, my house or the chiasm or probably, uh, you know, the one word titles. So whenever it is a long statement, you get really confused. You're like, okay, I really can't get it. Um, IELTS essay is very different from the essays you've been writing all your life because these are not um, descriptive essays. We've got opinion-based essays. You need to know what you should be doing because in IELTS writing task 2, you're supposed to write only 250 words within 40 minutes. So you should be very clear what you should be writing and what it should be all about. So in this video, I hope so I'd be able to help you that if you've got a question that is having a conflicting point of view, for example, I'm going to show you a question in front of you. Um, you, you can see for yourself that normally people start describing the terminologies rather than writing what the examiner is asking. Um, let's give it a look that how we can improve on the essay writing that is IELTS essay writing. You know, getting out of uh, the shell of writing descriptive essays where you've been memorizing a lot of facts and writing them down. And it's kind of very, very, I guess so, people find essay writing as something very boring and people think that, oh my God, essay writing means retaining a lot of information and definitely taking help from the internet because their opinion doesn't matter. Well, IELTS essay is pretty much not like that. You need to know one thing that your opinion matters and how you arrange your thoughts the entire IELTS essay is about it so um, let's get into the video I'm going to show you a question um, and I hope so it's going to help you let's get started okay so here's the statement that says some people think that modern technology is making people more sociable while others think it is making them less sociable discuss both views and give your opinion normally i think that uh, people would really want to describe what is the meaning of being sociable or what does it mean to be sociable but we are not supposed to do that. Let's read the introductory part, how you're going to write your introduction. There are some people who propagate the notion that people are becoming more gregarious. Now, gregarious is a synonym for sociable. Due to advanced technology, on the flip side, there are some people who negate this notion and advocate the opinion that latest technology is a cause for people to become less sociable, right? And you can include your opinion here as well, that in my opinion, um, you know, technology is making uh, people more sociable, but at the same time, it is leading or holding back people from socializing properly, or it, it has become a hindrance while people socialize fully, or, you know, people, are more inclined towards isolation because of the modern technology. 
Read in further, this should be your second paragraph where you're explaining, elaborating the point of view of those people who propagate that modern technology has made people more gregarious. There are several reasons they uphold this belief and the prime reason is. Now, here's the real deal. You need to learn how to give reasons. When you've got 40 minutes to write an essay, you need to spend at least 10 minutes on thinking that what are the reasons you know you need to learn you need to learn how to build a logic and a reason for your answer that there are some people who think and who propagate that modern technology has made people more gregarious and there are several reasons they uphold this belief so i have written a few reasons here if you agree with me that would be great and if you think that we can still make some modifications to it you can definitely let me know in the comment section below so um, let's begin. The number one reason is the world has become a global with it since the onset of modern technology. I'd like to tell something in here that you're not supposed to include any kind of headings, any kind of pointers in your essay. This is just to help you out so that you can remember that how to make an outline for your essay. Uh, and later on, you can elaborate these uh, ideas. The next point, uh, the world, sorry, the world has become a global village since the onset of modern technology. Point number two, the world has become, sorry, the point number two, easy access to technological devices as everyone carries their own phone. Point number three, modern transportation that has allowed people to maneuver from place to place in minimum time and stay connected. Point number four, there are various social sites people use for socialization. Point number five, Modern technology users have become habitual to text messages, audio or video calls. Normally now people are very sociable. I believe that just because of that one gadget or one mobile phone that everyone is carrying, even if you don't want to text someone, you will just take it out and, you know, just call someone or it's an audio call or a video call. Or, I don't know. People are just doing it out of a habit rather than, you know, necessity or they don't really need it. They're doing it for the sake of habit. Moving forward, we have uh, the next point. Uh, point number six, that modern technology has permitted people to explore different cultures. And of course, that has led people to be more sociable. Bilingual and multilingual people can connect with the people from different parts of the world for various purposes. For example, for business and education, trade and so much more. Point number seven, people have an access to a lot of knowledge and information. Consequently, people are able to absorb that knowledge and share it with the world. Now, this is another beautiful way to socialize. Like I am socializing with you guys. Of course, I have made a video. Probably hundreds of you guys are going to watch it or maybe dozens of you guys are going to watch it. Uh, because I am socializing with you. I am sharing some kind of information <laughs> with you. So moving forward, um, point number uh, eight, like influential people of the world can make an impactful statement through the use of social media and change lives of millions. You know that we've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram and all influential people, either they are film stars or they are pop stars or they are, you know, religious icons or whoever they are, religious leaders or whoever they are, they are using the social media and they, they use social media to socialize with millions of people. And of course, when they put a statement somewhere, millions of people get really influenced by that. Moving forward to the next passage, um, delineating the point of view of those people. Now, once you have given reasons for, uh, you know, why people are becoming more sociable because of modern technology, now it is time to, to give an opinion regarding why people are becoming less sociable because of 
access to modern technology. So let's read about it. Delineating the point of view of those people who narrate Modern technology has an adverse effect on people's ability to socialize and connect with each other. There are several reasons they mark out this opinion. Now, if you learn how to write an intro or how to start your, uh, you know, paragraph, half of your task is sorted already because then you can think about the reasons by yourself and you can make this essay quite pretty to get a seven ban also. Um, let's, let's go through the reasons, uh, people's obsession with technology and how they have lost the real in-person human communication. Point number two, people are so busy with their gadgets. They like being isolated, being lost in the world of internet as a distraction. Definitely. I'm also one of these people that, uh, you know, I really get lost in the world of internet. I think it's with everybody, you know, we pretty much enjoy being ourselves and we don't really want to talk to someone. We are happy with the phone that we have. Moving forward, point number three, uh, people are having weak family ties. Of course, if you've got a family get together, if people are having, um, you know, a, a family event or something like that, people are definitely not into interaction people would normally be busy with their phones and stuff. So I think so, people are having weak family ties and people are uh, not having the ability to spend time and listen to each other attentively. And that is the major, major problem that, you know, attentive listening, it really matters. So I think so because of technology, people people kind of kind of losing their empathy as well how to understand somebody so point number four people try to do everything online uh like uh, shopping paying bills conducting virtual meetings now let's talk about this point like everyone is into into online shopping when you go to a shopping mall whenever you visit um like um you know a bank or something like that you get a chance to socialize with someone you might be talking to the shopkeeper you might be talking to uh, you might be talking to somebody who's standing next to you in the queue um so probably by doing everything online we are reducing the chances of socializing with the people and you know that face-to-face -face communication or that in-person communication definitely that is not happening these days Number five, a sedentary lifestyle. People love to sit at one place and people are not outgoing. And um, they have, uh, you know, it's talking about this point that's written in here, that sedentary lifestyle that has limited people and people are not into outdoor activities and they're not outgoing at all. So people do not really like to go out or, you know, be with people or, you know, explore nature. I think so. It's probably because of technology and people just want to sit at one place and do their own thing. Um, so I think these are the points that I have written that how technology, modern technology, uh, is making people uh, less sociable. Uh, the conclusion should be very, very simple. I have seen that normally what people do that in conclusion, people try to write everything new. So conclusion should not be like that. Conclusion should be like 20 to 25 words where you can say that in conclusion or you can say that um, you can pretty much say that to recapitulate or to summarize uh, where technology, modern technology or latest technology is, 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 is helping people socialize at the same time, it is stopping people or upholding people from socializing or people are more into isolation and sedentary lifestyle and people try to avoid in-person communication. So this would be the pretty much um, conclusion of this essay. 
So I hope you guys learned something from this essay. There is a lot to tell and there's a lot to say. The video is already like 10 to 11 minutes long. So probably in while I'll be explaining my next essay, um, I would uh, be more elaborative and we will talk about it. One more thing you need to remember, forget about the essays that you have written at college or school or at your university. Those were descriptive essays. You were supposed to memorize information. You were supposed to think that an essay writing task is a curse, but an IELTS writing task is very interesting and your opinion matters, the way you arrange your ideas, it really, really matters. So this is Miss Angelina signing off. Um, until next time, goodbye. Bye-bye.